start with the huge storm that's been sparked by England's new football shirt and the controversial change to the St George's flag that I first highlighted on this show on Tuesday. And it's kicked off all the way to the Prime Minister since then. Nike has come under fire after replacing the legendary Red Cross on a white background. And the design now has purple and blue horizontal stripes, as you can see on your screen there, in what Nike called a playful update to the shirt ahead of Euro 2024. Well, the Football Association has defended the shirt, of course. And Rishi Sunak has waded into the row and he has criticised the design. Obviously, I prefer the original and my general view is that when it comes to our national flags, we shouldn't mess with them because they're a source of pride, identity, who we are, and they're perfect as they are. Well, there we go. The Prime Minister has gone in, stood showing, and I'm joined now in the studio, delighted to say, by the former pro footballer and talk sport host, Jason Cundy. Jace, welcome Hello, Martin. to the show. I've seen your uh, opinions on social media. Mm-hmm. Fair to say, you're not HP. Tell us no, I, I just don't understand why it's necessary. Why, w- why would this happen? What, what is the logic? What's the idea behind this? And I know the FA have come out and defended it. I've sort of Nike. It's an own goal. Let, let's get that absolutely straight. Most people are coming out and defending that. I know the badge has been changed in different shapes of look right and even the, the, the St George Cross at times has been changed but there's been it's been subtle this mm. and it's the condescending patronising language used by Nike mm. to a playful update what is a playful update it, d- come on don't let's boy let's be yes for me don't give me that it's a playful update on what so it's the, the badge doesn't the, the, the flag doesn't even look anything like it used to yeah. there's arrows in it I, I it's I don't know. There's something sinister for me about that. I don't know what's going on here, and I'd love to know the reasoning behind it. And the reason it's uproar is because people don't like change. It's our flag. Are we, are we ashamed? Are we embarrassed mm. of our flag? Is, is that who we've become? Well, I think that's a great question, because more to the point, is the English flag, do you think, Jay, specifically up for target? It's something almost that culturally it's acceptable to attack the St George's flag. Yeah. It's acceptable to attack English culture. Would they do this? Nike also put out the Saudi Arabia shirts. Would they do it to that? I don't know what they are. I don't really care about other nations. I just care about England. I'm English. I'm proud. I'm, I was lucky enough to play for the under-21s. I'm proud to be English. But I, I just, it's there's something behind this and we don't know the full story it's an own goal if you go on social media I've been you know, watching news outlets about what people's reaction to it it's gone to Keir Starmer we've just heard Rishi Sunak talk about that as well there's something I'd like to know the answers I want the FA to come out and tell us why they decided to go this route who's cold people are blaming Nike I'm not sure Nike are to blame the FA for me here they've got their fingerprints all over this mm. why what is the objective why have they done this? Well, let's try and analyse that a bit more, Jason, because because the, the FA are going into every bit of identity politics, left, right and centre, mm. taking the knee. We saw that. They've got a continual um, narrative that football fans are, are intrinsically racist. They don't seem to sort of get the mood of the terrace. I've not got a problem with taking the knee. I've got a problem with trying to change things. But for me, it's a mess. It's an, It doesn't even look like... A, I mean, look at that. What What is that? <laughs> no, seriously, when you look at that, if I told you, if I said to you, Martin, yeah. that's the St. George Cross. Well, you wouldn't know. You'd, you'd say to me, no, it's not. It's, mm. it's only now, because on the back of an English shirt we're talking about, that is not what you, It's got to look similar. I mean, they've, they've managed somehow to keep a bit of red in there. Well done, them. But um, I'd like to know who's responsible for this. I want the FA to come and explain. And Gareth Southgate, you told me earlier, he's got a press conference um, it's very soon. Unfortunately, it's going to be about this. Yeah, of course it is. And that's at 7.30 tonight. We should be focusing, of course, on that game um, with Brazil. But the, the, the talk won't be about what's on the pitch, Jace. It'll be mm. talking about this mm. flag. What mm. do you think Southgate is going to say? Because, of course, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to hammer mm. him with this qu- first question. Do you know what? He's, he's brilliant with the media, Gareth. He, he chooses his word very carefully. He's very savvy. I don't think he's going to get embroiled in this. I don't think he's going to say anything that's too upsetting. He can't. I know a couple of players have come out and, you know, in, in the women's team and the men's team have said they love the shirt. I don't expect them to say anything different. That's not their problem. They, mm. they are, you're going to play for England, you're going to wear the shirt, right? That's what you've got to do. But the, the price of the shirt as well. Yeah. Nike, let me tell you now, if Nike sell anywhere near the number of shirts that they're guaranteed or they, they budgeted for, they'll be nowhere near it. So I think they're going to be hitting the pocket and commercially, of course, that's what this is all about. But I, I feel for Gareth. I feel for him, but he'll deal with it. And he's, he's very good with the media. Do you think they'll scrap this shirt or do you think they're no. duty bound to stick with it? Do you think they might release two versions of the shirt or are they now tied to this? They've got to stick by the It's guns. difficult to know, isn't it? But the two versions of the shirt is a, is a, is a 
can, can you have two conflicting shirts? They're not mm. going to do that. They're going to they're have to stick to their guns. The fact that they come out and made a statement, the FA tells you all we need to know. They're on the back foot right now about mm. this one. And like I said, I'm, you know, you go on, on social media, um, you know, Nike's trending and not for not in a good way. Yeah. And they put all their eggs in this basket and people make their own choice, Martin. Yeah, I, I'm not, people can go, I mean, buy the retro shirts. Mm. You know, if, if that's what you want, they're cheaper, but £125 for an adult and £120 for, for a kid. That is scandalous. Do you think Nike will care about bad publicity they, that we've seen with American football, with Colin Kaepernick, you know, with all that sort of mm. stuff that happened in the States? Mm. They like to be seen as progressive, as pushing right. the boundaries. Are they toying with us? Are they using this shirt as another political well, don't forget, form? Well, don't forget the, the, the Mary Earps goalkeeper shirt. You know, they didn't bring one of them out. You know, all of a sudden they're doing this. They, their reputation right now, as far as England concerned, is in the gutter. Mm. They're, they're not doing a particularly good good job. Um, but I know that they um, they make shirts for several different countries um, mm. a, a, around the world, not not just in fact lots of different countries. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, they, this is this is a big own goal, Martin. Now you speak to a lot of fans. Mm. Of course, that's your job mm. on your radio show. They're the bread and butter. Yeah. They're the lifeblood yeah. of the game. Not the boardrooms, not the prawn no, sandwich brigade, right. the terraces. Yeah. What are the terraces saying to you about this? how many, as a percentage, you think of those fans would actually buy this shirt? Do you know what? It, impossible for me to say, but my experience when I was on Talk Sport last night talking about it and the, the messages that were coming in, the vast majority are against it. I, I don't know why we would mess with it so much. I know there's been variations throughout the, the, the years. Is this the thin edge of the wedge? Is, is, are we now... I mean, what's next? I mean, the three Lions have been synonymous with England, right? Mm. The badge has changed. Yeah. The colour... I, I saw the training kit today. The, the badge has changed. There's blue. It's not just necessarily about the colour. It's the whole design of what I'm looking at. It, that is not the St George flag. Not at all. I mean, what are we going to have on... I mean, they're going to take the Lions away. What's next? It's funny you say that. I've got a very amusing email, Jace, I'd like to read out here. This is from Hilton in St Albans. He said, why did Mikey go all the way playfully yeah. and replace the three Lions on the badge with three giraffes, rhinos or hippos? And I would say, don't give him any ideas. Well, the XL bully is, is, is the potential one. <laughs> <laughs> or a, bull, a British bull. Yeah, no, that, OK, he's, he's exaggerating that point. And yeah. that's what I'm doing as well to kind of prove the point here. Messing with it the way they have, and they've, I mean, they really have made a right mess of, of the English flag. And why, why keep it? I mean, we should be proud of the English flag. Okay, I know there's been variations out, as I said, throughout the, the, the years, and it's been different colours. There, there was an, a, an Umbro one, which they've been a little bit cheeky, but what they did, they kind of camouflaged it. There was a St George Cross in amongst all that. Yeah. There's a goalkeeping jersey in there as well. That is not as offensive as what I'm looking at. That has nothing to do with England. Nothing to do with St George Cross. Do you think this is a fundamental misunderstanding of English culture by an American nation, a, a, a faceless marketing company, or mm. somebody, as you said, that's got signed off by the top brass at the FA? Look, I, Nike, Nike are the shirt sponsors. They're the ones. They, they, they're paying money to England to get that. Someone at the FA has sanctioned this. They wouldn't have Americans, the, the Stars and Stripes on the back of English shirt. So someone somewhere at the FA has said that this is acceptable. Right. And look, it's going to backfire. They, they, as you said, it's a huge media storm around this right now. Nike, would they change their swoosh? Would, that, would they playfully update this? Would they? How would they change that? Mm. It's been synonymous with them for years. I don't know. It, I'm not having it. I'm not having it at all. Yeah, super. Well, I think you've hit the mood of the nation there. Thank you so much for joining us. Jason Cundy, professional footballer, former pro footballer and, of course, superb present day broadcaster. Thank you very much. Now, we're, of course, the People's Channel, so I want to hear what you think about the New England shirts. You can email me the usual way, gbviews at gbnews.com. And also, don't forget, we've got a poll. We've got about 15 minutes still to run, so get stuck in. Give us your vote. Have your say. And we've been out and about today speaking to the great British public about the controversial shirts, starting with somebody who's actually bought one. The representation on it, uh, obviously uh, inclusive of the community and all. I love it. Uh, and I'm going to see the... Um the friendly against Belgium on Tuesday as well. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. It's an absolute disgrace that a company like Nike, who are not even based in the UK, can try and change our national flag. No, I don't, I don't agree with that. Uh, you know, history and, you know, pride and tradition. Um, so no, I don't see why you should be changing, changing national flags. and uh, Terrible, we we'll never buy it. Uh, the shirt itself is a rip-off price-wise, so why change it? I'm not entirely sure why they've changed it. 
the St George Cross is the St George Cross and doesn't need to be changed at all, really, does it? Yeah, I love it actually, to be fair. I like the blue one and I've got a black one out or a dark one. I love it, absolutely love it. Better than last season's one. I mean, they're calling it a playful update. What would your reaction be to that? Uh, I'd call it more a desecration of the flag. I think it should stay as St George's Cross. It should be red and white. That's the England colours. I think it's silly. I mean, the flag is red and white, isn't it? Yeah, the flag's red and white, so it should stay red and white. I think it's just traditional, isn't it? Like, it's always been like that, so we shouldn't really change it. Uh, I don't understand why people at all should want to change any of our heritage. And, and th- 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 Those lads will be going out representing England. I think if you'd, if you'd put a different colour into the Irish shirt or the Scottish shirt or the Welsh shirt, all hell would have let loose, to be honest with you. I think it's a disgrace. Too much walk stuff. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Don't you just love the people of Nottingham, my home city? I'd just like to buy all of those people a beer. They're absolutely bang on. And we didn't just get, however, reaction from English people because we've also been speaking to people in Glasgow to see what they think about this shirt. <laughs> It doesn't look the same, does it? Um, I think it looks like stuff has been defaced. If you're messing with like a national image or something, um, you know, it, it really is, it's just a top, but if you're going to mess with something like a national image, you need to kind of think before you kind of do something like that. You know, defacing something that's like uh, an image of a country and an image of the people, it can be really disrespectful to some folk, uh, considering where it came from. Also, the salt tower is seen as a religious image from uh, St. It's the St. Andrew's Cross, so you're, you know, you're not just uh, defacing a national image, but also a religious image. I would say it's disrespectful. Now you're changing the identity of folks. So. See, I would also like to buy all those Scottish lads a beer because they could have easily been dancing on this and putting the boot in and having a laugh, but they get it. They get this is about patriotism. It's about a desecration of a flag. They wouldn't want their flag to be chopped into like England's has done. And fair credit to them for sticking up for the England fans and that shirt. Good lads. Now, a spokesperson for the Football Association has said this. The New England 2024 home kit has a number of design elements which were meant as a tribute to the 1966 World Cup winning team. It's not the first time that different coloured St George's Cross inspired designs have been used on England shirts. And we are very proud of the red and white St George's Cross, the England flag. We understand what it means to our fans and how it unites and inspires. And it will be displayed prominently at Wembley tomorrow, as it always is when England play Brazil.